So many of you students have been asking me to help you show you how to calculate the weight system that is used by the government universities to admit learners at university. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it on paper because I don't have like uh, a camera person to be recording this. I'm going to record my, on my paper and you will follow the procedure so you can calculate your weight before you apply for that course at university to avoid things like being denied your desired course and also it will save you because at government university when you apply and you're not admitted in that slot you wait for another year so it's gonna help you not prolonging the process so you don't miss out on the opportunity of the intakes which are soon going to be opened up for the admissions to take place so if you want to learn how to calculate the weight and see how much you weigh with your a level um results plus the all level results this is a video for you this video might be a bit long so i might put it on my youtube the full video because um because here at tiktok they only allow a certain limit so let's dive into it please go with me let's me take you on paper to be calculated together okay for starters let's first find out Okay, how to calculate the weight at university. Now for A level, you have to calculate everything you have attained at A level. And then later, we calculate everything that you attained at O level. A level is divided into these three categories. We have what we call essential. Those are the essential subjects. We have what we call the relevant. Relevant relevant subjects required for a given course at university then we have what we call a desirable desirables are usually like those subsidiaries like GP uh, sub uh, sub math ICT those subsidiaries now every essential subject at a level carries three points which means that the points you get in every essential subject you're going to multiply it by three every relevant subject carries two points so every point whatever the points you get in the whichever points you get from the relevant subjects required for a given course you multiply them by two and all the desirables carry one point so it means you get your points from from maybe the point you get from uh the point you get from ICT and the point you get from GP, you will multiply both those points times one. Now, at A level, A level has a scale of A, B, C, D, E, F, and O. This is how the learners are graded at A level from A to, to F and also an O. So the A carries six points. The B carries five points. The C carries four points. The D carries three points. The E two, the F zero, and the O. The so that is how you calculate for a level. This is a level. A level. This is a, this is the scale on how every point is. How many points are in every? every grade that you get a is equivalent to six points b5 c is equivalent to four points d3 e2 f you get no point on that and o is one point then we go to all level how all level is calculated now in all level this is how they calculate all the points every distinction that is d1 and d2 you get every every distinction you get in all level is equivalent you multiply that distinction with 0 0.3 with 0 0.3 now every credit all the credits that is credit 3 credit 3 all the way to credit 6 is equivalent to 0 0.2 it means every credit you got at all level you're gonna multiply it with 0 0.2 now every pass that is past eight every pass mark past eight and uh, to pass past seven past eight you get zero you multiply every pass mark you got at all level you multiply it by 0 0.1 that is it and every f is equivalent to nothing 
every F year is equivalent to nothing. Now, girl children have, uh, if you are a girl child, at all level, they give you an addition of 1.5 points. This is for girls. Girls have this advantage that they are given a 1.5 uh, extra points for being girls. That's why it's very, very good for girls to go for university because they have that added uh, point. Now, now let's do a sample here. Let's assume this student did BCM, BCM and stroke ICT. And let's assume this student from BCM, he got an A, an A in biology, and this student got probably a B in chemistry. And this student probably got a C um, in mathematics, and he also got his one point in ICT and also GP. So let's calculate for this student and we see. We said at A level, every every grade a is equivalent to six points so it means we are going to get his six points from biology so biology will be six times remember we said that every essential subject is equivalent to three points so you get the grades this learner got in his essential subjects multiply those grades by three so in biology he got an a which is a grade a, a six points a which is a six points multiply by three that is his biology because biology is a very very essential subject required for a learner who wants to do a course like medicine then this learner in chemistry in chemistry this learner got as a b and then a b is an equivalent of five points so you say five time was also three because chemistry is also a very essential subject for those learners who want to do medicine at university then we have mathematics this learner got a c in math but did see a mathematics is not so essential for those who want to become doctors so mathematics is going to be a relevant it's a relevant so we go this student got mathematics but remember mathematics is not essential for doctors it is not essential but it's relevant so every relevant uh every relevant subject is awarded a two points when they are calculating the weight it's awarded two points but he got a c a c is equivalent to four to four points in a level so he got a four times the two because it's just a relevant subject it's not essential so here this learner has 18 and uh, in kemi this learner already has a 15 and here he has an eight so far those are the points he has so he for instance this learner passed his gp with one point and this learner passed ict also with one point so these are two which makes it two times one which is equals to two because these are just desirable these are just desirable it is desired that a learner should have the knowledge of ict probably and also a learner to have passed gp so each one of them carries one one point so one plus one is two then you multiply by one point when that they use when they you're calculating the weight of this so plus two so these are the points the learner accrued at a level all together so which is going to be an equivalent of so when you add up this all together you're going to get 43 so it means the learners has a weight of over 43 this is very good it means this learner can qualify to do his desired course in case that course a learner is required to have not below 43 as the weight so if this learner has 43 as the weight he qualifies but remember we haven't calculated his all level points yet so let's calculate his all level points yet and we see what so we have to add also this learner's points attained at all level let's assume this learner because at all level you have to do a minimum of nine subjects let's assume this learner got maybe distinctions and only credits let's assume this learner got maybe four four distinctions and five credits we said that in all level every distinction carries 
every distinction that is d1 and d2 carries 0.3 so it means if he got four distinction we say four times 0.3 and if the rest were credits and he got five credits we multiply five times every credit carries 0.2 so it means this learner would have attained something like so when we calculate four four times 0.2 this is 1.2 and five times 0.2 is equals to one and if this learner was a girl child remember girls are given an extra 1.5 points for being girls so this learner add on a 0.5 so you add everything together it means this learner is getting this is three 3.8 and 3.8 if you round off this is 4 and then you add it to the it means here he got like 4 when you round off to the nearest it means 4 plus the 43 he already the 43 which he already attained at a level he will have an equivalent of the 4 4 points he has at all level plus the 43 at a level this learner will be having 47 so this is the weight of this learner Basically, that's how you calculate the weight at university when you're going to apply for those points. It would be very important for you to calculate these, this weight before you apply. So you apply to the course knowing you're going to be given this course at the government university. If you got any confusion anywhere, comment and I will answer you.